new episode, brand new week. This is a brand new week, a brand new episode from the Flamingos Podcast. Let me adjust this shit. I hope everybody out there is doing well. I hope everybody out there is having a good week and a good had a good weekend as well. It's me and Kenzie. Yep. <laughs> and we are here. <laughs> We're here for the episode number 99. And uh, I couldn't be prouder than... Than today? Our, yeah, our... Our fight or, you know, our, our, our continuous work in this, for instance, yeah. you know. For whatever, We've, for whatever the reason is. Exactly. We've been in many settings. You guys saw it in YouTube. You've, you've heard it. We've been in many different sound. We sounded different when yeah. we started. We sounded now in a whole different way also. Uh, there's a lot of work that we put in through this, for this, also throughout the weeks. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that we learned as well on how to put on a show itself as we went on. On the basis of trial and errors, because we, exactly. we didn't have an experience of how 100%. to do a podcast in the, yes. in the beginning, but we we first started, we learn. 100%. We learn from the feedback. I the, still remember the first day that when <laughs> when we recorded our first episode. And we were sharing one, one, <laughs> one mic. I was, I, was, I was holding a mic and then you and Awab OB back at time. Yeah. Uh, we're Ooh, sharing sure. the ideas and then the mic also and at the, the same time. Nobody, nobody knew because we were, we were not filming it. Yeah, gladly. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we had stuff all over the table. Yep. Over there, laptop was there, uh, too many stuff. We didn't know what to do at that time. We were in a, we just wanted to put out an episode to get the momentum going at that time. Remember? Yeah, and we learned we learned every single step by ourselves. Exactly. We researched it. And we, we came with the template. Yeah. We, True, 100%. And, yeah. and you know what, what yeah, makes me the most proud of whatever we are doing is that we documented a very crucial time of human True. history. And this is, this is what I <laughs> tweeted about. COVID. Do you, the whole COVID, the whole pandemic. It didn't stop us. It didn't stop us. We covered every yeah. single week of it. True. We shared information that might be... Um, helpful. Helpful for you. Informative. Entertaining to people entertaining. who are inside the houses. You know, the locked up. Exactly. Uh, and we also... We, we learned... Like imagine yeah, that we didn't do anything. True. So the amount of information that we gathered during documenting this whole two yeah. years was very beneficial for us because if we are looking at the at the things that we gained from recording this podcast is this is this is this is the top um, yeah. thing that I'm true. I'm proud of. Mm. Maybe it's, this is the things that other people they don't notice while we are doing see. this. Yeah, they don't see. They don't see this. It's these always, things. It's but like these that. these things are really valuable to us, to be honest. Uh, we would like also to thank everybody that always been supporting, you know, rocking with us since the start, and who caught up, and who's catching up, and who's going to catch up later on as well. You know, the show goes on. The show don't stop. And as we said. In the previous episode, you know, we're putting this as in, you know, three guys. Wanted to do something. Entertainment that is missing. Yeah. You know, we didn't, we used to not listen to anything that we would know about over here. For example. Yeah. There was no s such shows before, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm very happy now also to see local artists are getting more light. Like, yeah. look at it from... Two totally years different. and now, like, whoa. It's totally different. It's way different. Even us before starting the podcast, we would know a couple of local artists here and there. But now, yo, we the know numbers. plenty. Yeah. And we they're performing plenty. here and there. They are everywhere. The they're going everywhere now. And this is Yanni. And still, there's more work to put, whether it's for us, for our show, for, for the artists themselves, for the region, for the entertainment itself. Yeah. The lack of... Entertainment outlets out there, it's, you know, for the people. 
and in the in the region, you know, whatever it is, yeah, there's a couple a couple ones, and that's it for the the people in our age, you know. Yeah, and that's why they go to the outside. They focus on what's outside. Exactly. And exactly, and I I, rem- and I remember a very important thing is that the music industry is in the initial phases. Yeah. Here. True. So 100%. we are witnessing this, and we were fortunate enough to document to document yeah. at least this the beginning of it. True. So True. if the if if ten years from from now and we go back and uh, watch the video. Or watch the, <laughs> or listen to. It's the, gonna be the, funny. The, it's gonna be. <laughs> it's gonna be yeah, funny. It's, know, gonna it's, be it's, nice. it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice. Yeah. But it's gonna. It's at least it's gonna be a, a solid proof that. We 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 were we were, we were there. We were there. Yeah. Yeah. We were there. At least. Yeah. Exactly. Well, and even if we just shed light or knowledge on whatever it is, and we entertained one on two or two only, we did our job. That's that's fair enough for us. That's it. Yeah. I don't can see how's your weekend. My weekend, my weekend didn't go as well as I was planning to. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I, the last thing that I uh, encountered that didn't go well was mm-hmm. I wanted to I wanted to oh, meet yeah. you when on uh, on that event that was held by DJ Case. Yeah, Annex. Yeah, mm. because I wanted to see what's what's yeah, because yeah. you've been in Abu Dhabi and locked in exactly. work. Yeah, uh, and the, the 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 bad thing is that I was getting ready. <laughs> Everything was set. I, I get a text from Kenzi at twelve thirty. Yo, do they need Al Hassan? Exactly. I'm like, so I was like, like yo. <laughs> and what did I what did I reply? Uh, good night, G. Good night, G. Right? Good night, G. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> that, and, was, uh, that was happy that was, birthday to your daughter. Thank also. you. Happy birthday to that was uh, uh, that's yeah. the, that's the highlight of the, the voice weekend. of the Flamingos podcast. By the way, to everybody out there that don't know, is Kenzie's daughter. Yep. And mashallah, beautiful daughter, uh, bright, smart, and she turned seven. She's turned mashallah. seven. Mashallah. Yeah, and um, she's the reason, I guess, why I'm doing whatever the fuck I'm doing. Mm-hmm. That's the first thing. Okay. Uh, and it gives me enough motivation to to keep on going, I guess. Yeah. And uh, and that idea by itself, it's 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 something. Does she go but to to her friends like my dad? He has a show. No, no, she, she, no, no. She was like, uh, um, I'm seven now, and I I know everything. I know, <laughs> I know that you have a podcast. Okay. Uh, and uh, yeah, but that but she's acting smart. That sometimes she um, sometimes she's acting like a not her age, okay, like she acting like she's, she's a baby. Ah, dala. Yeah. Okay. So I can so she she can get away with whatever she Thanks, wants. Yeah. I mean, kids are smart, man. Kids are smart. But the the thing is that I'm I'm trying to. Like cultivate this smartness uh-huh. in the good way, so she okay. can benefit from that yeah, in the future. Good. You know, that's good. And and you know me when when it comes to the whole education system and yeah. how how the kids they should learn. Mm. Uh, I'm I'm trying to implement maybe part of it, even even though I'm 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 lacking uh, the role of following up with the kids and 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 okay. uh, like. Doing the whole the the homeworks and all these okay. type of stuff, mm. I'm a bad parent when it comes to this. I I'm, this is a full okay. confession from my side. <laughs> okay, that's good at least. Hey, yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, um, but yeah, it's. I think times is times is running so times fast flying, recently. Yeah. yeah, kids are growing up. We growing up. Now you see her at seven years old. How, what did you feel when today? You know, you were at her birthday celebrating her seventh. Looking back, like yo, days. Uh, and, yeah, exactly. Uh, this is what I say. Like, time flies. Like it's. Of a last gl- episode, glimpse, we're talking about glimpse, the, you guys going to J Cole in the. Remember? Yeah. Like. Uh, it's that's, a, not, th- that's history now. <laughs> exactly right. That's history. Yeah. So, time is flying so fast. Uh, all the people that I know, they are getting old. 
with white hair all over their faces. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's life. It's life. It's it life. Is, yeah. yeah, it is. I came to Abu Dhabi this week because I've and and I started my weekend early mm. this week, and I like I came early, and I was like. Because I was moving f- so fast. And I told you before coming here, you know, I feel I'm 55. Yeah. Remember? Mm. And I was like, it does. Because moving in Dubai is madness. Trust me, it's fucking it's madness. Chaos. It's People are, and I said it before in the podcast, like people are really moving very fast. Mm. I came back here just to go back to reality. I was like, so I came back. First of all, because I've, I've been a nomad. Mm. I said that before. I slept on my bed for the first time in like what two or three months, and I was so happy, man. The the the, the idea of a bed it's itself by itself, yeah, is just you know never mind home because you can create home wherever you go, right? But bed, those four legs and the whole yeah, fucking shit. Yeah, your, your whole life you've been you've been sleeping in bed, so I appreciate but, it now. Yeah, you know you don't appreciate crazy. the thing unless uh, you miss you, it unless you miss it or you, unless true. you lose it. So that's true. This is how you learn. But yeah, I started this long weekend and uh, yeah, it's, it's, I've been resting. I I started catching up with Top Boy. So I started watching every episode, like an episode per day. And since mm-hmm. I came to Abu Dhabi, I started watching two episodes per day because I'm just relaxing. Okay. And that show is, yo, the season is... It's crazy, but... It's crazy. Did you get that feeling after watching the first episode? Like finishing the first episode? Bro, and then- after, like I've seen like they're dealing now with the Spanish... I was like, hey, yeah. this shit is getting bigger. It's getting bigger. Because the first season was like, it's within. Mm. Even the old Summer House. Summer House, yeah. yeah. It was just, you know, in, in, in Summer House. In UK. No, no, no. But, the, but now. The, the beginning of the first Summer House was the was in Jamaica. was in Kingston. At least for the Deshaun? first. Yeah, at least okay. for the first couple of episodes. And yeah. then they moved to UK. They moved to the UK. But, uh, for example, the first episode in this new season... I was bored. No, but trust I, me. Trust me. I think I'm gonna. Okay. Trust me. Yeah, maybe. Things are yeah, getting the, bigger. Like these guys, Morocco, yeah. Spain. Like yo. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, that crazy. shit is getting bigger. And Sully, yeah, he, this guy. Sully is the man. Sully is. <laughs> Sully is the guy. On some silly ass. I don't know, if silly man. I don't know, if silly. I don't know how to articulate this fucking topic, but yo. I read a couple of days ago that uh, that's some funny ass shit, man. So now we have to start taking birth control pills. Right? Yeah, I don't, I don't know why the social media is hiding this. <laughs> I have so, no idea. So they tested this shit on rats. 99% of, of them, and I don't know, yeah, worked. And they said that this year is going to, they're going to start trying a trial on humans, which is men. So 99% is the success rate of, success of rate this rate. new newly introduced uh, men's yeah. birth control, control pill. pill. Yeah. Okay. And and the and the main reason as I as I read the article I think is because they want the men to share the burden of the birth control thingy. Uh, like side effects. Thing. Listen, we don't have that much of an idea about it, right? Yeah. Yet. We I'm, didn't uh, do all of that so don't hold us accountable or whatever. Yeah. We are saying whatever it is. You know? just, just passing to make it clear. Yeah, I'm just making it clear out there, you know. Yeah. And But it's going to be funny if somebody, because listen, it's going to be really funny if a chick tries to trap you now. And you go and you tell her like, hey, and I'm on birth control pills. How are you pregnant? <laughs> because listen, I know yeah, a yeah. person who was in Dubai for a while and then he was having a good time. And then after a while, this chick came to him and she's like, uh, I'm pregnant. Mm-hmm. And he knows he's not the father. Okay. Yet she so showed him the results and whatever. He panicked. Oh, so, the, so, <laughs> yeah, so, now. <laughs> so now you can take the pill, uh-huh. do whatever. And then if she comes to trap you, you'll go like, <laughs> I'm on pills. <laughs> and also, also, uh-huh. this, if this is, if this is if the success rate is 99%. Turn to be a hundred percent on human also turn, uh, on yeah. human turn to be hundred percent and it's become something normal just like the the birth yeah. control pills that the women take yeah um, the show 
who's the father <laughs> we'll is going to be canceled. <laughs> exactly, 100%. They'll have to cancel. <laughs> this guy has to cancel his show. Uh, Murray, right? His name is Murray. I don't know. Yeah, but then this show, the show is dead. The show, the show, show is, is dead. dead. <laughs> the show is dead. Yeah, that's a bad and news for the show. Shit, exactly. But yo, we understand that, you know, women go through a lot as a side effect after taking those uh, pills, right? So, I have no idea. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. But I mean, the, the thing is... I mean, that's what I've been reading, that, I mean, women, there's side effects to birth control, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, whether psychological or physical, you know, at the end of the day. Yeah. Yet, we just need to educate ourselves more about this for men and more about the birth control for women as well. Uh, what happens and whatnot, you know? Also, so, there, there will be yeah. other people who have different perspective, different opinions around this. Because mm. they say, they, they will be saying that birth is something that like should happen naturally true should, should not be uh, there should be no mankind intervention in it yeah so uh, it's 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 going to create that that type it's, of it's debate a, yeah i see i see this creating a whole lot of new narratives a whole lot of new new netflix headlines. new netflix series yeah, exactly, new movies yeah, exactly <laughs> yeah it's gonna it's gonna be especially gonna be, be, uh, and why why i'm predicting that because the social media is happy is hyping this yeah so you see that there is something happening. Whenever, later. whenever, whenever in social, social media, media happens, that shit is going to happen later on. Which is sad, to be honest. <laughs> it, it is. Uh, it is, yeah. I mean, social media, the people now control, man, they control every fucking thing. But yo, we know about this now. Music releases this week. Fucking hell. Uh, okay, so the first album that we're going to be talking about is an album by Nigo that he did along with his friends. It's called I Know Nigo. Now, for out there, people that don't know Nigo, Nigo is the person behind Bathing Ape. Bape. And uh, he's the head of Kenzo now. Mm. He did an album that is crazy. I love the album. So he's a fashion designer. Yeah. He collaborated with too many, too many artists. Pharrell did most of the album beats and production. Okay. Uh, there's clips, finally. Yeah. Something back, the, 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 push the, the, the and malice. Return. And the song is crazy. It's, it's, he, they killed it. Uh, Tyler, my favorite song out there. Come on, let's go. You know the idea of the song, what is it about? Mm-hmm. The whole song is about when us, we go to pick up our ladies and they're late. And we're downstairs waiting for them. Interesting. <laughs> Listen, that, that's... I'm... I'm I'm telling you, this 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 song is is fucking sick. I love the punch bowl by Clips by first, Clips. but then when I heard this, I was like, "Fuck, that shit is sick." Mm. Sally. Anyway, it's a, it's worth worth a listen. The whole album's fucking fire. Mm. The whole there's ASAP Ferg, there's Pop Smoke in the album as well. Uh, yeah, there's. Do you remember the song uh, Talk Your Drift? Yep. Teriyaki Boys? Teriyaki Boys, yeah. I've, I've, They're in the uh, album. Yeah, I've well. seen the- <laughs> Listen, the album's fucking fire. It might be one of the best albums so far this year. I'm telling you. So the Teriyaki Boys, they they, they, they were singing the... In Japanese. Something Tokyo... No, no, not in this song. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> not in this song. Yeah, but this, this is the song. This okay. is Tokyo Drift. Oh, uh, yeah. But they did a new song with Nigo yeah, I know. in this album. But yeah. th- they... They they were the sound behind that Tokyo catchy Dre. Tokyo yeah, yeah, drift. Back in the days, yeah. Back the in the hit, days. Yeah. I mean okay. all of us as all right, back yeah. in the days, this was the shit, right? And the, and, and all, all all I'm thinking now about teriyaki is the subway sandwich okay. teriyaki. <laughs> okay, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> One of the best also listen, this was a good musical week. Was it? Denzel Curry released a really nice album. Really nice album. 
Melt My Eyes See Your Future. I like the title, to be honest. Melt My Eyes See Your Future. Yeah. Bro, I'm telling you, the album is... I love, I love the cover. And he has fucking T-Pain in the album. <laughs> T-Pain. And, and okay, okay. there's a, a Curry in this album, man. He's doing his shit. He's really killing shit in this album. Like, trust me, it's fucking fire. And I and I sent it in the group because I knew you would love it. Mm. That's why I was like, yo, this shit is fire. Listen to it. Like, I, it's really interesting. And, and yeah, uh, I see this being played more than once this year as well. For me. And you know? the reasons are because it's... it's really interesting. Like, it's, from, it's, it's from rap. What, from, it's hip-hop. It's fucking rap. Okay. He's rapping his shit out. All right. You know, in this album. Like, it's proper shit. It's not, you know, tra- it's not trap. It's not all of that. Oh. No, it's, it's hip-hop, hip-hop. rap. You know? okay. Compare it compared to... Like if we, if we say that Denzel Curry is in the in a category, okay, you know what? This in a album, category, this yeah, album, yeah. because you like you guys love to entertain this. This album is gonna be nominated for which no, no, which no, category, be, for example? It, no, hip hop, rap, rap, of course. Yeah, okay, but then a- alongside with whom? This album is something. One of the things that J Cole would love to do. Okay. Yes, you know. So yeah, I'm telling you, like. Yeah, all right. Uh, it's it's a, it's a good album. It's a good ass album. <laughs> I'll give it, I'll give it a listen. So check it out. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> so it was it was a good question from my side to get that answer from you. So yeah, okay, yeah, you got the answer. You I got the answer. Now? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. All right. Before moving on to locals or you know whatever, I'm gonna make this quick phone call. I'm gonna give this guy his roses. You know? Oh, shit. Give him those on behalf of the whole... The whole, yeah, the whole movement. Hello? Yo! Case, Yo! How you doing? Alhamdulillah, man. What's up? How are you? I'm fine. This is Yad uh, from the Flamingos podcast. Me and Kenzie are over here. Oh, uh, no way. Yes, well, sir. I don't have your number saved. Oh, uh, no, I have to introduce <laughs> myself so you know I'm recording. <laughs> so you don't do shit, my friend. <laughs> you don't say shit, you know? But yo, uh, oh. no, honestly, bro, um, I really called you t- to give you your flowers online. To everybody to know that. And it's something that I wanted to talk about because in Abu Dhabi and Kenzie, you know, it's mm-hmm. a dead scene now in my life. According and, to you. Yeah, yeah. Yes, according to me. I, I've, you know, I've been out yeah, you know, right. in Abu Dhabi and it's dead. Mm-hmm. And this guy is the only one <laughs> in Abu Dhabi now. Nah, I feel you guys. I appreciate it so much, man. Honestly. For real, for real. Wow, like, that means everything. And, and when, and I've said that to you guys, right? More mm-hmm. than once, he is the best in Abu Dhabi, and if not one of the best in UAE, and he cares right? about he cares about what's uh, about the nightlife and exactly yeah so and he, he's been trying to revive this shit. He's been trying to revive this dead body. So yo, big ups to you, Case, and I appreciate thank it. you. No, for real, my thank guys. you, man. Thank you. Respect, man. My guys. So anything you want to add about the nightlife over here before I close? I'll hang up on you. <laughs> Is that like some extra shit or, or are we talking like? <laughs> <laughs> talking what? <laughs> or is that recorded too? I'm so no, this is recorded. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it's some extra shit. You make it sound like some extra shit. I don't Bro, know just go ahead. Oh, uh, shout out to Naji one time. Okay. Shout out to Naji. That's it. Dude. That's it. You don't Wait until I'm seasick. I don't know, man. Okay. That's yeah. all. Shout out to Naji one time. All right, fuck off then. <laughs> shout, out, shout, out, shout out to the Flamingos too, you know? Shout out to the Flamingos too. One bro, love. Bro, always. You know that. And, yo, I've seen your frustration. Just keep it going. Trust me. My God. Keep Habibi. it going. This shit will be back again. My G. Habibi. For real. Love. Love. Shout out Bye. to you guys. Bye. Have a good one. Bye. Yeah, because, bro, 
this shit over here is 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 dying. For real. I don't see I don't see this this way. I as as I mentioned earlier, um the whole music industry and the whole no, no, thing I'm, is is nice life. It it will come. It will come. I, I think with, with the time. We all will... know that originators in UAE scene came from Abu Dhabi, right? Yeah, but wh- where do they perform? Where do they Now go? Everything is in Dubai. Exactly. So for it to go back to Abu Dhabi, to Abu Dhabi, you need there are certain things to be done. You know, that's very true. Yeah, yeah. That's like true. the infrastructure. Right. Not saying that the infrastructure is not there, but at least the the awareness. Yeah, the people. The people themselves. Yeah. Um, That's why we're trying here to represent Abu Dhabi at the end of the day. Yeah, definitely. To show people that Abu Dhabi has it. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, definitely. Yeah, yeah. So, and there, there is a still way. There is a still room for oh, improvement. 100%. There is, there is, there are things that um, there are steps to be taken. True. For example, if if, for example, I'm if yeah. what I'm got from you is that case is frustrated with how, how it is over how here. it is yeah. right. So. First, first thing I think he shouldn't like give up. Shouldn't Never, give up. Yeah. You know, he sh- he should continue whatever he he's doing, and definitely he will get the the appreciation that he deserves, mm. and that will give him more space or more room to um, give back to the community yeah. and give back to the fans. And yeah, that's true. On other news in Dubai, also during this weekend there was. A festival that we talked about last last year, and it happened again this year, and we couldn't be more prouder than this. FMA Fest is back. It happened on twenty fifth till twenty seventh, which was our recording day. Sunday was the last day. Shout out to everybody that was there. First of all, everybody that put on this whole festival is fucking great. Mm. Showing appreciation to our female artists is something that we should always do and push for more to come. So for someone who doesn't know anything about the FemiFest, is yeah. it, it's a, if you so, explain it in a, okay. in a, in a couple of words. Uh, FemiFest, well. so FemiFest happened in, uh, it's a hybrid festival, all right, celebrating female, identifying, you know, their arts. Mm-hmm. Over here and in, in the region overall, you know, so you would have DJs, artists, rappers, everything, painters, that, yeah, everything that you have over there, you know. And they had two days, mm-hmm. th- two, yeah, two days show mm-hmm. where they lined up a lot of artists over there that were females, you know, and mm-hmm. all that happened in Dubai. It's something. Wonderful. And everybody can go there? Or the oh, yeah, 100%. 100%. Also, 100%. The attendance no, no, no. also need to be... Females oh. only? Nah, 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 Okay. It's something to shed light, to show that, yo, there's a lot of female artists over there. You know? Okay. And it's something nice. Yeah. Right? It's something that... Because we don't really see that much of focus. Yet. There mm-hmm. is there people is, yeah. out there. Right, but we don't see that much, and it's something we should be. And and I understand that because of our, you know, Arabic community, the culture, culture. and all of that, right? But it's time to appreciate these female that come out and do their, you know, art. You know, we start. We have to appreciate them. Mm-hmm. This is time, you know, man. Khalas. Mm. Yeah, it's a big up to them. I mean, like, yeah. uh, it's a. I heard it was a beautiful. I I, I couldn't att- attend because, as I said, I was here in Abu Dhabi. You know, but I heard it was a beautiful festival. Uh, moving on, new rule, Kenzie. Yeah, so um, a new rule. <laughs> Apparently, commuting to work uh-huh. will be considered as um, part of the working hours. Okay, that's yeah. And that's, I think I, sick. I think the the it's time the, to. It's time to, and I think there are there are too many reasons why this law is coming to uh-huh. to life now. Why? Um, it's the clashes between the managers and the or the employer and the employee uh, of why are you coming late? Mm. Punctuality, you know. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's true. Why are you coming late? Uh, there Commute. was an there was there was an accident. Why are sure. you coming late? Uh, yeah. It was so a little they foggy. Eliminate this factor. 
yeah, eliminate this fuss and going back and forth and mm. eliminating the factor of uh, having the employee mm. lying to their employer. Okay, yeah. About okay. about why they are coming late to work and okay. finding excuses, you know. Mm. So all of this nonsense by following this law mm. is going to be something uh, beneficial for the employer and the employee. And I'm 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 totally fine with this. I think because you don't, because I've, you don't commute to work. I don't commute to you work. You commute and from I, bed to chair. <laughs> they sh- I guess they should include it <laughs> with the, include this. With, I'm starting counting these hours, <laughs> these minutes, crawling from bed to the <laughs> from bed to chair. <laughs> yeah, um, but I think I think this law is um, uh, is the fruit of all yeah, of these. That's true. That's true. All it, of it these, makes sense. All yeah, of these issues. That, you know? It makes sense. That's true. Yeah. But then there's three, three conditions. circumstances, conditions where it applies, right? Yeah, and are, whatever I'm go- going to say now, mm-hmm. uh, for all the employees mm-hmm. who suffers from these type of uh, okay. discussions with their employers, <laughs> no, not okay to use these uh, first. <laughs> you use can, this. Yeah, you can. You can say it's a, uh, um, uh, it's a bad weather. It but was. Then, Bad weather, you know these messages that we get, which is Bob, uh, careful, uh, whatever it is. Use these messages. No, no, no. Just, <laughs> send out these messages <laughs> to each other. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, bad weather. Like uh, if it's foggy, you cannot drive yeah. from. You live in a lane. You yeah. working in Abu Dhabi. You know uh, all these. Mm. The driving is dangerous. You know because at the end of the day, yeah. you you care about the people. True, hundred uh, percent. Live. So they would yeah. consider, consider the commute in that time? Commute in that time under the circumstances okay. of mm-hmm. having a bad weather. Okay. Um, as in working hour. As in working hour. You, you're working, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, another thing is that um, if you're going through an emergency, let's say that okay. uh, you're trying to be the good employee, and even during the bad weather, you... Um, you decided to go to work, you know, you got decided to drive and then you got you, in an accident. You got in an accident. <laughs> you got in an accident. So that's the second, that's the second level of giving the excuse that's giving bullshit that to your employer. <laughs> so, no, I got an accident. I got an I accident. An emergency. <laughs> I have an emergency, which is an accident. Uh, my that's wife, hours, my so. wife is giving birth <laughs> because I didn't use the men's birth control. <laughs> I forgot to use it. I forgot she, to use she's it. She's giving yeah. birth. She's giving birth, and I'm I'm not able, I'm not gonna be able to make it to work today. So that's the, that's another emergency. So focus on the bad weather, the emerg- the emergency and the uh, accident urgency situation. Yeah. And the last one is that, and that's that's the funny yeah, but, part. That's the funny listen, part. But listen, I'm gonna tell time you. Time spent by the employee in the means of transport provided by the empl- employer. Which so means, bus, bus, or or, or yeah. for example, you uh, you walk in a, a cab. You walk in a in a in a firm, let's say, okay. and they sent you to Dubai to do a presentation Uber, or whatever yeah. to do. So that time is also a considered working, hour. working hours. Yeah. yeah, but make sure that all of the above or all of what we mentioned, <laughs> we have mentioned, is part of your contract when you signed it <laughs> in the beginning. So, yeah. None of this is None applicable. None of this is applicable unless there is a contract in yes. place. Yes. Governing whatever you <laughs> you you agreed with your employer. So, <laughs> and if you sorry, forget, I don't know. I, and if you forget, you're out. I don't know. I, I sounded like a lawyer when I. When uh, I, I think so. Yeah. yeah. You did, you did. But yeah, you're a lawyer for the people. <laughs> the other day. Better better yeah. call Saul. <laughs> but, better <yeah>. call Kenzie. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, it's a it's a very interest, interesting news, and 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 the most interesting thing is that we we are see, we are because of people who worked in uh, remotely for the last yeah. two years, mm. now people they noticing that um, there are a lot of things that can be that can, that could have be been done, done in the workplace. Right, yeah. Now they can it That's can true. be done remotely. That's you true. know, I've been seeing a lot of job opportunities that is only remotely now. Yeah, S- something that we used to not see at all before COVID. Let's go back three years, look, three years and a half, mm. uh, or maybe four years mm. when I started working remotely fully. Mm. Um, when I got the 
when I got the when I got the job the job uh, the first time I was like uh, I I was telling my my friends that um I'm, I'm I got I'm working an, remotely. I got an opportunity I'm gonna be working remotely fully and they were like nah man it's it's bullshit uh, it's bullshit it's a scam it's, it's a scam <laughs> it's a scam it's bullshit um I can I cannot do work from home mm. it was them now. it was something <laughs> very strange you know yeah. that time yeah. So all of them did remotely. And fast COVID. forward, <laughs> fast forward, fast forward every, they jo- they joined me. You know, all the people who were laughing at me at the beginning, <laughs> and it's not it's not it's not it's not fun. This is this is maybe what, what is not fun. Working from home for a very long time. That's true. Misses with your head. Um, it's not easy and beautiful as it looks. Um, it's not comfortable. Also. It's not comfortable. Unless plus you are a master, mashallah, in time management. Yeah. <laughs> I hope that my, my 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 new manager doesn't see this episode. Oh, but, yeah. but yeah, uh, it. But at the end of the day, it all goes back to your the decision that you're taking, True. the time that you are managing, True. and how how do you like finish your start and finish Tasks, your day? Yeah. And start your task, prioritizing yeah, your task, true, the, true. what should go. The, whatever you, whatever the concept, uh, whatever the process that you want to follow in your workplace, mm. you can implement it in your in life. In your life yeah, in general. 100%. And you can implement this when you work remotely. So because true. most of the people, when they when they work remotely, they will be like, oh, I'm going to go to bed. Uh, I'll do it later. I'll do it later. No. Um, actually, you can be more productive, productive if you... If you put your mind into it, you know, mm. and if you manage your time perfectly, so yeah, the pros and cons, you know. But yo, but th- th- this whole new law is it helps the people, you know. Also, at it, the end of the day, it's part of p- providing a flexible true, environment true, for the employees. True, true, you know, true. You don't feel like yeah, it, because this is what I'm feeling. What's gonna happen in the next couple of years uh-huh. is that. Employees, when they join an organization or a company, mm. they mm. should feel like they are not working for the employer, rather, or working more, for their more more as a part of the company itself. Okay, yeah, as in everyone working together. Together, yeah. yeah. If you, I'm working for that person. Yeah, I'm doing that for him. Exactly. That's where you start falling short. Oh, but if you are, for example, if you feel that you are not performing well mm. then you are impacting the whole impacting the true. whole organization yeah. then you are impacting yourself at the end that's true you know yeah so i think how people should get employed in the future is that they should be part of the organization they even should give them shares in the company oh whoa 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 yeah really this is how it should be this is how it should that this is how i Feel it should, and be. then how much you put work, how much the company makes, you should be part of it. And I again, I hope my manager doesn't. <laughs> <answer this. laughs> All right, let's. <laughs> but yeah, this is this is this is uh, this is this Why this, this this might be something that. But then, listen, and I would understand this because it would motivate everybody to work. Yeah. As in, at the end of the day, like, listen, I have shares in this. If I don't work at the end of the day, I'm my share get price will go down. Also we'll as get well. fu- yeah, yes. we'll get fucked. But then you have the person who came up with this whole company that he owns it. Why would I give someone shares at the end of the day? You're not giving, uh, it depends. But at the end of the day, uh, the amount of shares that the employees, the employee that you are hiring mm. will not be like, I Similar understand. as the owner, yeah, but you know? then Hector or Tabakhin, but you have a lot of people. You have a lot of people, but they have Sm- fractions. Okay, right? and then no. then let's say you have it ends up with them. How many people that you have? No, in? see, they have fifty percent. That's like twenty people in, right? Together, all of them. Yeah, they have fifty percent, fifty percent, and you have the whole fifty percent by yourself. And also, do you think they'll be good enough? Whomever started the company, they will because. This will will eliminate the greed of of the owner of the company. There are certain type of greed. That's a great idea, but I see it in a different perspective. That is great, it's, where it, it motivates people. If you take it from as that, as in financially, 
financial. The owner where, I'm not a financial you know, advisor and I'm not, I'm not an accountant. I know, I know. I, I know, know. but it, it's going to be beneficial because there are certain companies that they are doing this right now, you know? And I've worked in one. I've worked in one. Yeah. I've worked in two. But I'm saying that, I'm saying yeah. is that if it's, if this is happening right now, why it's not hap- why it's not going to happen to all the companies in the future the same way how everybody was ag- was against everybody were uh, was against the uh, the remote working mm. and now everybody went to it you know it's, it's one of those things but you then know? you have also people companies that you can buy shares from yeah right you can buy stocks right definitely yeah. so there's more and more into it and you don't work You just have the shares. But but the difference between the guy who has works, the shares, has the shares uh, yeah, and course, working, he's, go, he's going to be he's, he's more, going of to course, be, yeah. Yeah, hungry more to get more money at the end of the month. And that feeling that um, I'm, I'm doing this also for me. For me. Makes the difference. Let's be honest. Yeah, Let's of be course honest. it does. Of course it does. Let's at the end honest. of the day, of course it does. But yeah, and I see it working in some way, but yet I don't see it fully working in a different way. But that's, you know, yeah, yeah, where yeah. from the owner, and I'm looking from the owner perspective, the person who started the the whole company. Yeah. yeah. You know, like it's not going to be easy for me to take just 50% at the end of the day. And, you know, like I started this whole shit. I worked my ass from the start to get it where it is now that I can employ all of these people and let them get shares. I'm, I'm speaking from an owner perspective. From owner perspective, yeah. yeah, I know, I you know, know. But if it's you, it's gonna be a bit <sighs> to him. But I, I don't know. I, I, I feel like the benefit will be double for the owner it if, can he, be, if he, yeah. fa- if it he can follows be. this. It can be. But, but then you have a lot of decisions. Also, you have meetings where decisions because they all have shares, right? Yeah. So you have a lot of conflict in decisions. Mm, you gotta well, have. Well, there will be. Limited. Yeah, it's it's not fully like it's <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get you, I get you. But uh, yeah, I see. I, I, I see where this idea is going. Like it's a good one. But it has some uh here and there, you know. Definitely. Moving on, local releases that came out last weekend, yet we love them. Mm. And I honestly enjoyed both. Uh There's an EP that came out by Rico called Dark Winter. I love it. Straight out of case A. Mm. Uh, mixed by B Element. There's Kuracha over there also in the produced tracks over there. The only guy in case A that doesn't sound from case A. Rico. Rico. He's doing his own shit alone. And that's, it's a good tape. Like, I like it. How many tracks? Tracks. Uh, I think it was around four. Let me see. No, no, it's not more than four. Just a sec. So my favorite song is Six Shit. I'm going to be playing it after uh, as a pick. Is Six Tracks. Mm. Beautiful. Is this his first? No, uh, it's not. We talked about him before. No, no. Yeah. Is it the second EP you mean, right? Uh, the first, no, it's not the... F- uh, kind of. He did, he, he did one that we talked about. You remember uh, the three eyes and uh, B? Mm-hmm. Or the four eyes and B? Him and B element, they whole, did a whole tape together. Yeah. Uh, that's the cover. Remember it? Yeah. Yeah, and then he dropped Dark Winter. I see. Uh, listen, man, I just hope to see him. Op- I, like, I don't know is if it's him. He doesn't really like working with everybody out there. I'm not sure. I don't know anything about the guy. You Does know? he have to do? By the way, he doesn't. Maybe, maybe he's so, putting. He's yeah. put. Listen, he's putting good shit. You know, his music is good, like really good. You know. And I love his chemistry with BL because this is their second work together, you know. Mm. His, yeah, but, you know, you have to also tataklam with what's around you. That's, that's, uh, brings that question to my, mm. 
if you are an artist, yeah, is it mandatory for you to collaborate and work? That's the first question. And the second okay. question before you answer, um, what are the conditions or, or what type of collaborations that gonna benefit me? Like for example, I'm an artist. I'm good by myself. Mm. I work my myself. Okay. I don't want to do okay. you do yeah, features. Yeah, yeah. Every my fan base is growing. Mm. Do Jekyll. I have to do a features? <laughs> What did you say? Jekyll. <laughs> do I, that's the answer. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. But no. Uh, What will be the motives? What will see, be the? See, look, it's not that. Is now you you're a good artist in your city, right? Mm-hmm. You're a good artist, Kenzie. You're one of the best rappers in UAE. Right? Definitely, yeah. And I know that. Mm-hmm. Uh, people don't know that. But you're one of the best in the... And this is this is where we were speaking about in Sudan, mm-hmm. if you remember. Yeah. There's a lot of good artists over there. But then the sound or the Sudanese artists were stuck inside Sudan okay. only because of the lack of collab work outside. Now, of course, we talked with uh, Proof and he said where there's the infrastructure and blah, 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 and a lot of stuff, right? What is the benefit? The benefit is that your music will reach to these people with that artist in this different city, ah, different country, okay. and they'll start hearing your shit because they liked your verse, they liked that feature, they liked whatever it is. Okay. They're going they're going to start searching for Kenzie. Yo, who's that guy? So let me start looking okay. for this guy. So I, what I got from you from from whatever you said is why the demograph? Why the demograph? More people exchanging yeah. the the, exactly. the fan base. Yeah. Uh, and then for you as an artist, wh- you would learn from the other artists you collab with, you work with. That's the experience that you get from exactly. the other artists. Like, yes. Okay. So this is why, whole- like, for example, we always, or the people that we get with us in the podcast, they say that they would love to see artists working together more. Mm. So they can learn from each other. So they can also benefit each other. So they can, you can see also people listening. Like, they like this artist. Yet that artist don't work with the other because... fucking egos because of fucking circles right mm. so it would be nice then because both worlds will you know meet each other at the end of the day people from this guy the fans of this guy whatever it is you know yeah so and I, their work also will become much better yeah i'm just i'm just stating the benefits yeah no 100% you know? so, the, the, so if we if we summarize them it's only two benefits Somehow, one, but the, there is, one is the there demographic. Is more, there is more. There is more. There but is this more. is the most yeah. important like, thing. I think, you know? Anna, my point of view, I mean, okay. there are artists who would tell us oh, even more. We're not artists at the end of yeah, the day, yeah, but, you know. But this is but what I believe, yeah, you know? yeah, okay. These are stuff. All right. Another amazing tape, EP, that I can also stop listening to throughout since it came out. Hollanda by Walgies. I think it's also one of your favorite. I used to listen to Walgies before. Yeah, I, mean, I like, remember. I remember. I remember. It's Kenzie who also, by the way, it's Kenzie who brought Walgies to us. Like we started listening to Walgies and fucking around this guy, you know, like. And also yeah. I shared my, Kavak, Sp- Kavak, my Spotify. Kavak, Kavak. No, no. My, <laughs> yeah, if you, you remember the episode when we shared the Spotify listen? Oh, uh, yeah. When yeah, I talked about yeah, the listen? Yeah. yeah. Walgies Ariel was there. Walgies was there. Yeah. Khalas, okay. Khalas. Give him his flowers, huh? When, so, oh geez, if you hear this guy, give him his flowers. خلاص أضرب له أتكلم معاه. You know, pick up, hook up the. Hook but it's a, it's a it's a nice body of work. It's a beautiful body of work. Four tracks. I love it. Four tracks. Man, we lack the number of tracks we always. I like, think it's four. Know. See, five. See, Definitely. it's five. It's five. Yeah. Five. Kenzie, after the first listen, he's like, "Listen, guys, I'm going to buy the third. <laughs> For example, <laughs> five five tracks. This is exactly what if if any artist is planning to release an, an EP, yeah. it should be the body of work should nice. be yeah. short, um, different styles in each one of the yeah, songs that you are releasing. So yeah. you give a taste that what you can do in those five, and you can gather the analytics behind it, like see which one is getting more True. Uh, uh, plays, and then yeah. definitely you can work on specific sound and then mm. uh, plan the next release. Uh, again, I'm not a producer. I'm not. I'm just. You're a coach. I'm not a coach. <laughs> okay, coach. This is this is this is all the information that we gathered in the last two years, uh-huh. and it, this is coming from us just noticing, you know. Yeah, it's a beautiful tape. Uh, I'm going to also be playing uh, "Time," my favorite, also read by my man. It's been on replay. It's a beautiful track. I'm worried about the number of 
plays in 2022 on my Spotify. <laughs> double, double the number. <laughs> double the number. Double the number. Uh, it's a beautiful tape. And as we keep always saying, these guys are doing the right move. Him, the Seven Birds. Yeah. They're all together. You know, they're doing the right moves. They're doing now shows in Egypt also. Yeah. You know, it's something beautiful to see. Right? For sure. Uh, anything you want to add? I think that's it. Two songs that I'm going, we're going to play this week. Uh, Six Shed by Rico. Time by Wadis. And I hope everybody out there have a good week. I hope everybody out there have a good weekend as well. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Number 99 from the Flamingos podcast. Ramadan Kareem to everybody out there. كل سنة وانتو طيبين. كل سنة وانتو طيبين. And uh, stay safe. And that's all, right? This is episode number 99. Thank you for tuning us. We love everybody that been keeping up with us. And the journey continues. And, and don't stop. Yeah. Peace and love. And we out.